All right, so to find the equation of a hyperbola, well, we've got all this stuff here. Uh, well, let's just get started on the first part of it. Uh, hyperbola is going to be in this form here, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Uh, the foci is plus or minus c, where c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Vertices. Uh, plus or minus a zero and asymptotes y equals plus or minus b over a times x and here's an example of the hyperbola uh, you can see that and I don't know how well you can see this but the point here that's the point negative a zero and this point here is a zero and then you've got the foci out here that's at negative c zero and c zero so you can see when the when the, the x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared you can see that the hyperbola opens left and right okay and then you've got your uh, asymptotes here y equals negative b over ax and y equals b over ax. Well, this is really the same thing, except notice the difference in this one and this one. We've got the y squared comes first, y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. So when that's the case, the hyperbola is going to open up and down. And the, uh, the foci is 0 plus or minus c, which are these points here and here and then we have vertices at 0 plus or minus a which is the point here and the point here and the asymptotes y equals plus or minus a over b times x all right and I'll have a bunch of I'll have a bunch of different examples to work they'll each have their own video so you know check them out now the other thing you see these asymptotes cross here well that can uh, that can change alright and the the way that would change is if this is shifted left right up or down okay so the equation for that would be we would have x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Okay. And then the, uh, the other way that it would shift, if, if, if this was written as y minus k squared over a squared and I know I wrote plus up here, that should be minus. That should be x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. Okay, so, you know, that just depends on how, where these things intersect. All right, so let's take a look at some examples and see what we've got. All right, let's see what we got with this example. It says find an equation for the hyperbola that has vertices plus or minus 3, 0, and foci plus or minus 5, 0. All right, so to do this, let's, uh, let's draw what we can. All right, so we've got vertices plus or minus 3, 0. So we got one at 3, 0 and negative 3, 0. And then we've got foci at negative 5, 0 and 5, 0. So that, that tells us that the hyperbola is going to look something like this. Okay. So, as far as the vertices go, okay, this is your uh, 
parab I mean I'm sorry not your parabolas but your hyperbolas open opening left and right okay so this is going to be plus or minus a zero and then this is going to be plus or minus c zero all right and since it's opening left and right that tells us that a is going to be under the x squared term okay so and the x squared term will be written first so let's look here's the equation we'll have we'll have x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1 and if you remember from the first of the video if it this is opening left and right if it opens down the y squared would be over here and the x squared would be over here okay alright so you can see we, we need a and b well we know a a is 3 that's the distance from the center here out to the to one of the vertices okay so we've got a is equal to 3 and we've got C, well, that's the distance from the center to one of the foci. Okay, so we can see C is 5. So with the uh, hyperbola, we know that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So we just plug everything in. See, we already have A, so we just need to get what see what B is. And so that's going to be 5 squared equals 3 squared plus B squared. And so we get B squared is equal to 25 minus, and then 3 squared is 9 if we move it over. So we get B squared is equal to 16. All right. Now, our equation is going to be x squared over a squared. Well, a is 3, so 3 squared is 9, okay, minus y squared over b squared. Well, b squared is, you can see, 16, and that equals 1, okay. Well, now let's let's go ahead and write the asymptotes down, because see th these are going to have asymptotes right here, like this. So what would be the equation of those asymptotes? Well, if you remember, the equation is what y equals plus or minus whoop, b over a. So in our case, that would be y equals plus or minus b which in this case b is what well b squared is 16 so that tells us b is equal to 4 over a which is 3 times x so there's your that's the equation for your asymptotes these lines here so hope the video helped give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching